Hey, Aaron. What? Do you believe in justice for all? No. Well, that's too bad. Do you remember who did who? Uh, I believe <laughs> Ace and uh, Edgeworth were doing each other. That's all I strongly remember. His name's Phoenix. But. Oh yeah, sorry. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> Grr, how did I get into this mess? Stop calling me a mess. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> you can't run forever, Mr. Peaks, right? <gasps> He's being chased by the Phantom of the Opera? Oh, oh, it's a dream. Oh, okay. Silence! Ugh. You are no longer worthy of your title. Okay. That's a big gavel. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> He's dead. Justice for all, I suppose. Credits roll. <laughs> Phoenix, talk to me. <laughs> what a nightmare. And I bet it was this ringtone that caused it. I really shouldn't be dozing off right before a trial starts anyway. I should really answer the phone. <laughs> huh? Looks like they hung yeah, up. I wonder why, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, good. I finally found it. This will fit perfectly. It's nothing personal, Mr. Attorney. Oh, snap. Is he gonna kiss him? <laughs> A few minutes later, post-kiss. <laughs> Ouch, my head, it's throbbing. And why does it feel so good, so foggy in there? Ah! You said you would prove that I was not guilty. Not innocent, yeah. <laughs> just not guilty. <laughs> I was moved to tears, sir. Ow. <laughs> I'll never forget you. <laughs> just like knocks herself out. <laughs> I'm afraid to ask, but here goes. Can What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Can you put on deodorant? <laughs> you constantly raising your arm like that is really stinking up the joint. So this might sound bad, but uh, who are you? A what? Uh, who am I? Why am I drawing a blank? From the sound of things, it's probably safe to say I'm a defense attorney. Oh, this is not a great start. No. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Shut up! <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Maggie Bird. Are you ready, Mr. Wright? To dance? Yes, your honor. Wait a sec, dance? <laughs> I remember now. The defendant is accused of killing her lover. What's worse, her lover was a fellow police officer. Tommy Pigeon. <laughs> a policeman? You did what to a policeman? <laughs> Had sex. <laughs> Nowhere to hide. I'm so dead. <laughs> oh man, I can't remember shit. <laughs> like you said out loud. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fuck this up so bad. The victim was one of the local cops, Dustin Prince. He'd been exposed as a murder victim. <laughs> He was pushed out from the benches on the upper path, sir. What was the piece of evidence found underneath the victim's body? Glasses. Hey, why are you giving me the evil eye? I still have my glasses. <laughs> Those glasses you're wearing. <laughs> yes, this is my spare pair. <laughs> my first pair was under a murder victim. <laughs> Those aren't my glasses. Someone must have put them under him after I killed him. <laughs> During his date, the victim was pushed from the bench area. But he managed to write the culprit's name on the ground where he landed. That is some of the best handwriting of someone in the last second of their life. That's not how she spells it, though, is it? No! You're wrong! Oh, yay. But I'm gag It'd be great if he was like, um, objection? The defendant's uh, name is the uh, Maggie Bird. Mm -mm -mm. It's Maggie Bird. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the bird caught the cat napping. I think that's the same. Yeah, and laid eggs on. What's going on here? <laughs> if they were truly lovers, it would be mostly impossible for him to have not known her name. <laughs> that doesn't track with my experiences on Grinder. Maggie, I mean Officer Bird, had gotten Officer Prince a present. <laughs> Present to flight. <laughs> Didn't seem to work very well. Yeah. You know, there comes a time in every baby bird's life where it has to get pushed out of the nest by its mom. <laughs> it was something she had bought over two months ago. Are you saying she bought the glove at a store that far in advance? Nah, nothing like that, pal. Then what is it like? She ordered it. It was custom made. Custom made? The glove was custom made? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So the glove was custom made. 
Yeah, it was custom made. Objection! Was the glove custom made? <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Wright? Do you think this glove is custom made? And relevant to this case? Of course it's relevant! I said so! <laughs> that glove is the key to this whole case. Yes! Bluff into the max! <laughs> <laughs> now, this is the Mr. Wright I know! A total bullshitter! <laughs> it's, uh, rather yellow, isn't it? Looks like bananas. It does look like bananas. <laughs> this glove is made to be worn on the right hand. That is why it had to be custom made. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> He's ambidextrous! Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it is not possible that this name was written by the victim himself. Or maybe his left arm was shattered. It, like when he fell off the- Alright, whatever. Then that means Maggie is- Back on the market! <laughs> I will now announce my verdict. The co co uh, No, not yet. Not like this. <laughs> I mean, please, give me a few more minutes. Your honor. What is the meaning of this, Mr. Payne? I just love sending innocent people to jail. <laughs> we would like to call our next witness to the stand. Johnny Murder! <laughs> yeah. Officer Dustin, he's just like dead at the podium. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh, Maya's with us now. Yep. Court will now reconvene. Please call your next witness to the stand, Mr. Payne. It's about the next witness. He has a tendency to say things that rub people the wrong way, you see. So I ask that the court might be a little lenient on Adolf Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there is no need to give a preface. Just hurry up and call your witness, please. Yes, Your Honor. The prosecution calls its next witness. <laughs> A drifter who was taking a walk in the park on the day of the murder. Oh, oh yeah, it looks like a real man on the street. <laughs> Just now, you introduced my wonderful self to the court, correct? Perhaps as a drifter who was taking a walk, when in fact, I was taking a shit. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> While walking. <laughs> Oh, I guess you could say I was leaving a shit, but I will not stand for that now that you've tinted the court's eyes and colored me wrongly. Sure, I suppose calling a- whoa, but to give an inch- well, uh, Aaron, what's happening? I'm not doing it. I'm merely looking for that perfect time not trying to be able to- I have a rigorous selection process where it's- What is he? A human chatterbox? Bow wow wow. <laughs> <laughs> what I saw that day <laughs> by Maurice Sinek. by Mr. Wellington. <laughs> I know, seriously. All of a sudden, a police officer falls from above, right in front of my eyes. Oh! <laughs> Without a thought, I looked up, and there I met the eyes of a charming young lady. Murderer. <laughs> she was distressed for some reason. <laughs> you may now question the witness, Mr. Wright. Oh. Is it or is it not true that you are lying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Uh. Let's press a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Are you sure she's pretty? <laughs> <laughs> the only other thing I saw was the banana that fell with the police officer. What's a banana? That's it, Nick. He's got to be lying about the banana. <laughs> just run up and grab him by the neck. You're lying about the bananas. <laughs> <laughs> think Phoenix, think. What exactly looked like a bunch of bananas? Yeah. If you get it wrong, it's your potassium on the line. <laughs> your potassium. <laughs> yeah. M Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Why do you have so many bananas? Why have you fashioned those bananas into a mitt? <laughs> your honor, it is very simple to mistake a glove for a bunch of bananas. I mean, I did. I mean, that's why everyone's sweating right now. <laughs> No, I don't think so. Objection overruled. <laughs> no, those are fucking No, bananas. no, I'm fucking... You, you're one of those people. Yes, you know what I mean. A banana-hating bastard. You're too used to your world of... Sure, in the end, we find out that it's in fact a glove, not bananas. However, when viewed from afar, I think there's room enough for doubt, don't you? No. I can see with 5% of my eyes. Why are you not wearing your glasses today, then? I threw them under the murder victim. Objection! <laughs> <laughs> No! Do you or do you not have amazing looking butt cheeks? <laughs> Wait, sorry, wrong question. I, just like I, I had a couple yeah, I had a couple things written down here. I read the wrong one. Would you please take a look at this? You mean the victim's autopsy report? Shut up! I wanted to know if you thought it was bananas or not. 
<laughs> According to this, the murder occurred at 6.28 p.m. <laughs> According to this autopsy report, he's dead. <laughs> there is clearly a 15-minute gap here. Do you deny it? Gah. I think this court would like to hear what you were doing during this 15-minute gap. Gooning. <laughs> I lost my cell phone. There, are you happy? Unbelievable. <laughs> you lose your glasses and your cell phone? What of your nudes? <laughs> and how would you even see them without the glasses? Boy, I didn't see this coming. What should I do now? Question further. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> what are you getting all excited about? You seem to be a little confused. I found my phone. I'll have you know. See? Here is it. Wow, it actually said here is it. Please present proof that the witness had no siege for- uh, Okay, yeah, show the phone. Take that! And yet again, you have presented this court with an obtuse, meaningless item. Fuck. Wait, there's a phone there's booth a right phone next booth to There's a phone booth right yeah. there. Oh. Ah, uh, we are silly goose geeses. Please present proof that the witness had no need to search for a public phone booth. Like the picture that has circulated through this whole court and we've all seen. <laughs> Why didn't the witness call the police right away? Cause his fucking glasses were all over the ground. I'll tell you where they were found, Mr. Wellington. Oh my ass. <laughs> These glasses were found under the victim's body. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. Anyway, now is our chance to deep six this guy. Uh... What? <laughs> there's gotta be another way to say that. This is our chance to butt fuck this guy. <laughs> right now. In his butt. I'll sink him in one shot. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> they have to know what they're doing. <laughs> this is so exciting watching you work again. Anyway, I think I should leave before this next part. <laughs> Fucking let him cook! <laughs> It's time to plunge into this witness and get what I need. <laughs> this is the moment I've been waiting for. Ecstasy. I'll be right there. Um, I'm sorry I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie. That was when you learned that her name was Maggie. Uh, um, mm. But you made one fatal mistake. Fatal mistake? Yeah. You killed a guy. <laughs> Mr. Wellington's motive is right here. What is this? We have determined that the people on this list are members of a certain group. A certain gooning society. <laughs> you, you looked up all those numbers? Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> ja. Looking up the phone numbers on a person's phone is a worse crime than murder. I don't know about that. I should know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why would the witness have the numbers of a group of con artists on his phone? <laughs> he just like slowly turns his head towards the truck. <laughs> Cause he's fucking Connors. <laughs> <laughs> he was afraid the policeman would ask a few questions before returning the phone. Like, why aren't you killing me yet? <laughs> if I do anything suspicious, he might run a check on my phone. Mm mm. And he <laughs> went into a panic. Is that what you're saying? Sure. I, that's better than what I thought. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Shit. The witness, Mr. Wellington, you are Definitely fired. Handsome. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh, wow. Alright, a lot of ha ha ha's and screaming. Impressive. Not bad for a person with a third rate education. My education is second rate. If you cannot prove who the owner of that cell phone is, your indictment has no basis and therefore no power. It looks like you came up a penny short. Where? Where like, did I, I go like, wrong? Who, what judge would say that? <laughs> Like, in a, in a murder trial. Yeah. Well, um, better luck next time. <laughs> <laughs> I think I may be able to prove it. Prove it? Prove what, Mr. Wright? Everything. The defense is just <laughs> going to badger the witness with more inane questions. You will not harass the witness. Is that clear, Mr. Wright? Oh, I'm gonna harass him. <laughs> Please, Your Honor. All right, you can <laughs> harass him. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. I'm sure you're well aware, Your Honor, but the cross-examination period has ended. Mm-mm. <laughs> Were you paying attention, Mr. Payne? No. -uh. <laughs> this is it. Is it? Yeah, it's gotta be. Maybe, maybe someone will call it. Why? Thank you. How nice. <laughs> Here, please have one of mine. Wait, what am I doing? This isn't the time to be exchanging business cards. Let's see what Paul Allen's card looks like. <laughs> This card. <laughs> this card is important because of what it is on the back. 
We are going to call my cell phone now. Let's see if I answer. <laughs> Who is it? Ah! By the way, before I forget, thank you very much for the lump on my head this morning. You're welcome. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and for hitting me with the fire extinguisher. <laughs> I don't think I need to explain any further except to say, tomorrow at 8. <laughs> when you went to retrieve your cell phone, you mistakenly took the wrong one, you fucking dipshit! Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, now then, this court finds the defendant, Maggie Bird, guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Not guilty. Salute the general. Hey, Beck. Yeah, I knew that the real you would shine through eventually. I knew that you would help me cover up the murder of my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so moved by what you've done for me, mister. You tell for me. <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> my life has really been nothing but a string of disasters. Nice music for it. I was known as the goddess of misfortune. But now that my boyfriend was murdered next to me for no reason, I think I can finally shed that name. <laughs> I'm afraid to ask, but here goes. What is an office? <laughs> so this might sound bad, but uh, who are you? Oh, man. What? I thought you said you got your memory back. Only the important stuff. Episode one, the lost turnabout. The end. That was great. Oh. I was drugged with sleeping pills. And drugs. I was murdered by that person. <laughs> I didn't bring my marshmallows. <laughs> I finally get to see you again and... It's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I... I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. Might as well have been me. What? I'm here today because of this incident. Malpractice at Gray Surgical Clinic. Fourteen inpatients lose their lives. They couldn't wait for anything. Alright, never mind. <laughs> the one that screwed up was that nurse. She, she can be seen here being great at her job. <laughs> not, oh my fucking god! Not, that nurse had the nerve to go and die before admitting to her wrongdoing. Oh my god. She didn't even offer any sort of explanation to me. And this is the kicker. She's she, dead. <laughs> she up and has herself a grand ol' accident and crashes her car. Smash Crunch, instantly transforming her car into the accordion model. I like to inject a little bit of whimsy into this story. <laughs> there were rumors that Dr. Gray had actually caused the crash. Rumors that ended up being true. People said, <laughs> On to case three. This just won't do. My clinic isn't seeing clearly, isn't, see isn't seeing nearly as many patients nowadays. Certainly 14 less than there were before. <laughs> Maya Fay. You know this girl, correct? Well, we worked a few trials together, but she went back to her hometown to undergo more training. She's coming I, I was gonna say, boxer. I, yeah, I was gonna say, she's working as a waitress at Bennigan's. <laughs> I've already set up an appointment. For what? What else? A gooning. <laughs> a channeling. Oh, when? <laughs> right now. I'm going to have her call the spirit of that nurse that went and got herself killed. Oh man, I'm still in my refractory period. <laughs> Can you give me like 15 minutes? Nope. I'm impatient. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> this is Karain Village, Maya's hometown. Copenhagen? Nope. Maya, you're younger than ever. <laughs> this is weird. Nick! <laughs> yeah. Maya, how are you? It's good to see you again. Terrible! <laughs> this place fucking sucks! Well, you made it sound like you were so far away. It put the snake by the my, my face! Pearl Faye, she's my cousin. Isn't she adorable? Just like yours truly. Yeah, she looks really happy to be alive. Pearl is my aunt's most valued treasure, so she's not allowed to go outside of town. <laughs> she lives inside a chest. <laughs> what are you gonna do once the nurse's spirit has been called? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to have her write a signed confession. A signed confession? 
Yes, ghost testimony holds up in court all the time. Good sir, who might you be? Ah, uh, I'm, uh, my name is Phoenix Wright. Oh shit, I have heard much about you from Mystic Maya. <laughs> Sorry, I love eating candles. <laughs> That's so, Mystic Maya. I am Mystic Maya's aunt, Morgan Fay. It would seem that perhaps you asked too much of Mystic Maya in performing your duties. Most unbecoming, I'm afraid. Huh? Don't tell me you have already forgotten. Forgotten mm. what? Loganberry. <laughs> that it was not for Mystic Maya and her assistance, you would surely not have won. First a girl that runs away, and now an old lady who says I'm okay. Right. Take it doing my job. Sorry, I kind of got cornered by the rhyme. <laughs> so why do you add Mystic to Maya's name? Isn't that a little strange? Good sir. Yes. How dare you be so rude and disrespectful towards Mystic Maya? She must be addressed by her proper title, good sir. You must call her Mystic Maya. Um. Uh. So about yeah. Mystic Maya. Just like you must call me Maniac Morgan. <laughs> Mystic Maya is the last of the rightful heirs of the Korean channeling technique. The KCT. <laughs> oh, for sure. Okay, then where do you stand? Right, right here! <laughs> God, you are stupid. That's a little more complicated. Sometimes I stand over there. Although a woman of the Fey Clan, I'm merely a member of the Branch family. <laughs> Branch family? What's that? It's as it sounds. I made love to a tree. <laughs> For a member of the branch family, no matter her spiritual power, she can never become the master of the Korean school. The channeling will take place here, in this channeling chamber, good sir. And what is this chamber used for? G it's... it's <laughs> are you serious? I just... So this room is the channeling chamber? Do you have biscuits in your... <laughs> what? what a cute daughter you have. <laughs> A pure heart that knows not of the evils of this world is a powerful thing, good sir. Please refrain from affiliating with her, I request, since you are one of the evils of this world. Yeah. I must insist and stress that you not let it occur. Okay. I, take, I don't care. Alright, take it easy. I want to hang out with your shitty kid. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're tempted to hang out with my shitty kid. <laughs> She's got a super Nintendo. <laughs> wow, this garden is really breathtaking. <gasps> <laughs> it's a really old urn. Looks brand new. It looks smashed to bits. <laughs> the ashes of a person long dead are inside. That urn belongs in another urn. <laughs> yeah. Hold on now. This gal's got a few questions to ask. <laughs> Hold loading voice till I see the character. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm sure I've heard that southern accent somewhere before. That's helpful. Oh! oh I well, remember. I'll be. Yeah. It's Mr. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> How you been? We all should hurry up and get to the meditation room. What are you waiting around for? Come on! <laughs> what are you waiting around for? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Someone to sniff your bowl for you? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what are the odds? Mystic Maya, do you have the channeling chamber key? Oh fuck, I forgot it. Oh man. Yep, right here. <laughs> that is most satisfactory. <laughs> that key is one of a kind, so please take <laughs> care of it well. Bling bling bling. Click, click! <laughs> God, I mean, that really must be filled to the brim. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, so hot. Oh, bang. Hey, now, what what was that just now? Oh, I just married someone. <laughs> yeah. Came from inside the channeling Looks chamber. like someone channeled a bullet into someone else's head. Yeah. Slam. Slam. Crash. Oh, no. Gray? Dr. Gray! <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Gray! <laughs> like, looking around. Making sure everybody's watching. <laughs> yeah, like you, like you walk in there, like you put the three fingers to your ear, and like the other hands move it a lot. Doctor Gray. Any producers in the house? <laughs> I was murdered. Wait, what, Maya? Uh, Maya? That man murdered me, so I killed him. What? I said that man murdered me, so I killed him. Click. Click. What? Boom! Lotta at a time like this. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Times like this are perfect for snapping up shots. You never know who might be in the audience. A producer? A producer! <laughs> where? Where? <laughs> Dr. <Doctor. laughs> right. Step away from there. I'm a producer. What? <laughs> this girl was bad. <laughs> Yeah, we heard you from outside, dude. Okay. <laughs> that gal, Maya, she wasn't the one that pulled the trigger, was she? I mean, I don't mean to be Mr. Jumpy to conclusions, man, but she had a gun. There were only two people in the room. She's covered in his blood, and she said, so I killed him. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing all the way out here, Detective Gumshoe? It's actually kind of funny. As like this turns, one time. <laughs> as it turns out, Japan's really small. <laughs> yeah, I walked. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I show you to the scene of the crime, Detective Jim Shoe? Um, my name isn't Jim Shoe. <laughs> right this day. way, Detective Fuckstick. <laughs> oh boy. It's actually not pronounced Fuckstick. It's <laughs> Gumshoe. I guess all I. Da -da -da -da. I guess all. Da -da -da. It's cock, please! <laughs> Show me the scene of the crime. <laughs> oh, it's right here beside this producer. A producer? I mean the sheen of the crime. <laughs> Don't look at me like I'm some sort of uncaring jerk. Are you off your medication today? <laughs> he's he's real rough. Tell you what, pal. I'll let you ask me a few questions, all right? And then if you want, you can fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> huh. I'm pretty sure there was someone sleeping here earlier. The bump is still there, but... Like, how can I help you? Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Please stay calm, but there has been a murder. Oh, well, I'm definitely the one who did it, <laughs> since, like, there's very few other non-established characters around here. Yeah. <laughs> so, I was the one who told Dr. Gray about this place. He asked me, like, do you think I could get murdered there? And I was like, totally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? Yeah. God, <laughs> she is so cute and suspicious. Yeah. Well, nothing weird here. See ya. Maya was arrested and taken away by the police. And I don't see myself getting any sleep tonight. <laughs> what am I gonna do? I never imagined it would turn out like this. Calm down, Maya. You're only in prison for murder. God, you kill one person and you, <laughs> you like, your whole personality changes. <laughs> I went into that room with Dr. Gray, locked the door, and then I fucking killed him. I began the channeling. Kill Dr. Gray. Kill Dr. <laughs> Gray. Could we do a different chant? When I came in, I was being held in my aunt's arms, and there was blood all over my clothes. Huh. Oh, but I do remember having a dream. A dream? <laughs> Yeah, there was like a crab. No, <laughs> don't, like, Aaron, please. Fucking father, fucking father. <laughs> I was like, how did this keep happening? <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's following me across games. It was running sideways. <laughs> it always runs sideways. Please make sure you prepare it, okay? Huh? It? What is it? I thought, what is it? Yeah, I was just thinking, <laughs> like the Faith No More song. Yeah. He'll say, what is it? <laughs> The document requesting me to be your attorney, of course. You want it all, but you can't have it. It's in your face, but you can't grab it. <laughs> What's wrong? Are you sure? I mean, I'm guilty. I'm a murderer. No one's decided that yet. But I did. I killed that person with these, these two beautiful hands. <laughs> these two meaty ham hocks. <laughs> That's enough, Maya. Your hands are small and dainty. <laughs> it's hopeless. My hands are huge. <laughs> I took them out with Jim Johnson and Tom O'Reilly here. <laughs> if you defend me, you lose, I'm sure. No, I'll always defend your tiny hands. I'm going to give you a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Is everything okay in here? <laughs> I'm on my way to go meet Mystic Maya for the first time. Once I finish this hot toddy, <laughs> and I thought to bring her some items to make her feel more at home. Namely, a gun. There's a nail file. 
that's hidden in the middle of the strawberry dessert. I, I thought you were going to say a nail file hidden in the middle of a strawberry. It's just like a giant nail file <laughs> with <laughs> two tiny pieces of strawberry on either side of it. <laughs> They'll never suspect a thing. Just dropping off this strawberry. <laughs> ting, 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 ting. <laughs> oh, 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 shit, oh. The channeling chamber? Yeah, what is this chamber used for? This room was created for the sole purpose of preventing such a tragedy as yesterday. Well, good job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Might as well break it down, then. <laughs> That's Mystic Maya's Magatama. Make America great again tomorrow, also many always. <laughs> Why do you have this in your possession? I- I'm sorry. Return it to Mystic Maya at once. She gave it to me! What do you fucking want from me? <laughs> it's a beautiful and expensive folding screen. It also looks quite old. Be a shame if someone farted on it. <laughs> <laughs> there seems to be some sort of secret fart on it. <laughs> oh, but I can't read that? it! <laughs> <laughs> No! <laughs> it's a hole. Perfect for absorbing farts. <laughs> now my fart will be on the other side of the screen, and Morgan will be no none of the wiser. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> It'll be fully surrounded by farts! <laughs> I can hear you! <laughs> your pants are around your ankles. <laughs> She'll never know! Huh? <laughs> she when did you come in here? <laughs> I've been in here the whole time! <laughs> huh? I know you are. You're... You're Mystic Maya's... Special someone. Whoa. Wait, what? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! I may be small, but I'm going to help you in any way I can. <laughs> I may be small, but I'm definitely a medium! <laughs> 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 That's painfully stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All I really should do is charge this Magatama with spiritual energy. Holy fuck! I shined a black light on it! Yeah. <laughs> Hurry! It's now I'm ready to do out. mushrooms and fucking party! <laughs> I would like to accompany you for a little while. I can explain the Magatama's power to you when we meet someone hiding a secret. God damn it. What? It's that voice hurts my throat. Oh. I was like, no, don't yeah, come with us. Do a different voice. I guess. Whoa. What the? Oh, what is that? This is the power of the Magatama. Only you can see the Cyclops, Mr. Nick. Cyclops, huh? Like the X-Men? I totally don't know that guy. Like, you're totally more persistent than a roach. <laughs> Well, what about Mo, who dug things out of a mine? Any man it doesn't know my name, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like, what is it? I can't read. A story about an accident? Please read the victim's name. Um, Mimi Mine. Mine is a pretty rare last name, wouldn't you say? Miss Mimi Miney wouldn't happen to be a relative <laughs> of yours, would she? My sis was like, oh, I was coming home, totally wiped out, because she was having work. Okay. Wiped out? So is that why she fell asleep at the wheel? <laughs> Alright, pal. Well, the prosecutor for the trial is Prosecutor Von Karma. Have we met them before? Oh, this dude. The Von Karma you're facing tomorrow is actually his successor. Successor? Is she hot? <laughs> Very. Oh, no! <laughs> it's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? Uh, Please be Edgeworth. That voice, it's Mia. Whoa! Mia! Mia, I don't know how to say this, <laughs> but we're in a jail. Could you cover up those honkers? <laughs> <laughs> it's like extremely inappropriate. You got some serious matonkers going on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can handle these boat on honkers. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you to blow the lid on this case tomorrow and show how you set up. <laughs> What's your evidence? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're the lawyer, man. I'm dead. How can I win tomorrow without knowing who the real murderer is? Who? 
Who could have? <laughs> Uh, the guard is just like, eyes forward, eyes forward. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, What's oh. wrong? Oh, nothing. I don't know. This just turned into a scene from Hellraiser. <laughs> yeah. Which means Mia must know something about the real murderer. Mr. Edgy Worth? Who's that? He's a really hot... Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's Nick's rival slash boyfriend. Well, he's also a friend slash boyfriend. <laughs> just a regular friend. <laughs> <laughs> Objection! Why are we not on a date right now? <laughs> Every trial was a scorchingly fierce battle until the very end. We it turned into a scorchingly hot lovemaking <laughs> session. And then they kiss, and then they fuck, and then they kiss. It was always back and forth with them, kissing and fucking. <laughs> but when you're rivals for life, Maya, please don't mention that name ever again. He, he's, he's gone, and he's not coming back. Oh, Wait a second. You told me he was a power bottom. <laughs> I thought that meant he would fight with power even when his life reached the bottom. <laughs> no. No, it's it's different. <laughs> it means when I was on top of his swollen cock. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, you got to kind of kind of work around All right, whatever. Are the prosecution and the defense prepared? Yes. Oh, goodness. Yeah. I gave up a promising career in Germany and came to and came to this country for one sole reason. <laughs> now that I know I'm from Germany, I can speak honestly. Revenge. And you don't even want to know where this is going. If it's something of a personal nature, I'm sure you can... Ow. I'm talking. Oh, she's got a whip. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, does the defense wish to enter a plea of not guilty? Uh, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking. Should have thought of this before. <laughs> foolish fool who foolishly dreams of foolish dreams. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> ten minutes. I give the defense ten minutes before it changes its plea. That's right. I have you running for the justified self-defense plea in no time. This is where your balls will go. Into my hands, where they will be crushed. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> my face fingerprints were all over it. Ha. Huh. What will you do now, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Probably cry and cum, shit and cum. <laughs> wound. The wound is very Objection! <laughs> I would have shit and cum! <laughs> Sustained. Uh, I'll allow it. <laughs> I think the court would like to hear about the other piece of incriminating evidence. Get all French there for a second. I, I mean, I'm terrible at voices. I don't know why I do this show. <laughs> Maya's fingerprints on both murder weapons and blood splatters on her clothes. Things are looking good. <laughs> yeah. The sleeve? Yeah. It's epic! There's a tiny hole here. A hole? Uh, a hole? <laughs> a hole? What's this around the hole? It smells fit. What, did he have his face, like, right in it? Yeah. It smells faintly of gunpowder. Hold on. Let me smell it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gunpowder? No one ever told me! But what am I supposed to be, a detective? It looks like I found the hole I was looking for. Well, <laughs> I have one of them. Yeah, it's a bit of a loose- Unless Edgeworth is around here! <laughs> Your Honor, the only logical conclusion that you make is that it must be a B-hole. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> A-hole? B-hole? It's all the same to me! You said that my client killed a person without a doubt was not fighting back. Yeah, I did. Pretty funny, right? <laughs> <laughs> then what, may I ask, is the bullet hole you police overlooked supposed to mean? It means that the victim had fired all the shots! Is this what it means to not fight back? Uh, you're right! Why didn't I think of that? Why didn't I think of that? Because you two are the stupidest people <laughs> in the fucking world! Just kidding. That's us. But a close third and fourth are this yeah. judge and the gumshoe. This is what you testified earlier. When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. Please stop beating up that piece of paper. I can't take it. <laughs> yeah, psh, psh, psh. <laughs> ah, oh no. Quit hitting yourself, paper. In the middle of the fight, the victim pushed the defendant away. And it was then, when they were separated, that he fired. How was that? I don't see any push burns. <laughs> if that was, <laughs> this is the piece of evidence that destroys your logic. What is that? A folding screen? <laughs> like, you, you saw all the evidence, dude. Yes. 
I would like to point the court's attention to the hole in this folding screen. You might call it a holding screen. <laughs> oh, well, yes, I did open ass farted to it many times. <laughs> That's not relevant to the case. Uh-huh. It passed through at a height of approximately eight girthy inches <laughs> off the ground. I had to squat pretty low to get all that <laughs> gas in there. Which means... <laughs> <laughs> when the shot was fired, Maya, I mean the defendant, was not getting ready to strike, but was actually squatting low to the ground, just as I had done moments ago! It was all part of my research! <laughs> order! Order! Please look at this diagram of the crime scene. It's a stick figure of you farting into the screen. <laughs> Pay no mind to this detail over here! <laughs> The victim, Dr. Gray, was here when he fired the shot. And the bullet hit this folding screen. It hit this location, about eight inches off the ground, right where I farted. <laughs> I'll mark it with a red <laughs> dot on your maps. <laughs> Wait, what am, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> the court will take a five minute recess. After we reconvene, we will hear from the next witness. If you need me, I'll be on the monkey bars. <laughs> Whee! Sorry about this. Didn't exactly have a choice, you know. Ah! <laughs> Na name an <and> occupation. <laughs> I declare one tarnation. It's like the fucking. Uh, ah! it's, it's Wednesday, my dude. Scream. <laughs> She's like, ah! I'm having a little difficulty in understanding you. If you would stop saying such things as wreck and give it- uh. <laughs> <laughs> Now then, Mr. Phoenix writes, Do you see a problem with the testimonial, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's quite obvious to this court that a verdict of not guilty is not possible. Uh. What, what alternatives does that leave? A lawyer is someone who smiles, no matter how bad it gets. Really? Uh, man. Are you sure? Oh! I guess I mean Remember just... these! <laughs> wow, they're like hair complete. Oh, it's Pearl that's that's channeling her. Question Lada one more time, Phoenix. Do it. I swear to God. If everyone's done talking to ghosts, this court would like to end the cross-examination period. Hold on! I'm still talking to a ghost! Shit. <laughs> Please wait, Your Honor. The defense would like to request that the witness testify one more time. Overruled. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Furthermore, any unru- Uh, it's- it's fine. I'll allow another testimony. She's not the judge. But- but, I mean, I have some place I have to go after this. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, I'll allow it. Ms. Hart, where is the other picture that you've been withholding? It's like a picture of your dick. Uh, <laughs> alright, Your Honor, I'm gonna- yeah, hold, I mean, uh, let's move happen. on. Uh, <laughs> that prosecutor woman told me to shut my trap about it. Oh shit. What? Fuck <laughs> <For> karma? <laughs> this blows up the whole fucking case! J'accuse! Yeah. You bitch! <laughs> Your Honor, the defense asked that prosecutor Von Karma be held in contempt of court! Hmm. Well, uh, <laughs> Me? In contempt of court? You can't be serious. But you hit evidence from the court on purpose. That's, that's, that's bad boy it's stuff. freaking awesome. It's so cool. It's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see it that badly, I'll submit it. Texture to the mercy. Daddy wants to see the picture. Your Honor, as you can plainly see, the person in the picture is not my affair. Yes, I see that. Well, good. <laughs> It's not just her face, her whole body has taken on a different appearance. And what part of her body has taken on a different appearance, Judge? Do you surmise? I'm not the one on trial here! <laughs> <laughs> your Honor! Oh, the fire has returned to your eyes, I see. And those rippling pecs! <laughs> This picture. Within this picture lies a critical contradiction to all the testimony up until now. You think you've spotted a problem with this picture? Then earn your keep. What are you, you dumb bitch? <laughs> Aaron, Aaron. <laughs> Please, a little maturity is necessary. <laughs> Please direct your attention here. To the victim's butt. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, 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 is this what it feels like to get whipped? 
<laughs> there was a bullet hole in the sleeve of the defendant's costume. If that's the case, then it should be in this picture as well. Pajaz is confused by this strange twist of events. He's confused by everything. <laughs> this is your chance, Phoenix. Load all you've gotten to this one shot, all right? I got it. Watch this, Maya. <laughs> click, click, boom! Your Honor! She can't be the murderer because it was the candle. <laughs> <laughs> Mia's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there can only be one explanation. The person who's at the, the person <laughs> <laughs> who shot Dr. Gray was the defendant, was not, not the de defendant. Sorry, I should, that's important. <laughs> but a different. But a di but a different person altogether. <laughs> that would have been a lot more effective <laughs> if you just read the words correctly. <laughs> <laughs> if order is not restored, I will suspend this trial. Ah! 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 ah. <laughs> 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 this argument is a complete mess. <laughs> <laughs> this poses two very big questions. One, when's lunch? <laughs> and two, uh, why? Where's lunch? <laughs> <laughs> Had enough yet, Mr. Phoenix White? Or do you think you have enough in your turn in, in you to turn to turn things right? Even See, now? it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking about something else. I've got it. It wasn't Edgeworth on the boat. No, Phoenix, that was a different case. <laughs> Mr. <What>? Wright. <laughs> Maya Faye must have left the room. If she had not, then I would be not holding this key. See you before you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nine. Court will reconvene tomorrow at 10 a.m. 10 a.m.? I'll bring my unwhipped bottom. <laughs> That's all. Court is adjourned. Pearls, are you ready to go buy some tickets? Huh? A tick kit? Poor thing. So sheltered. <laughs> I'm gonna take her out for the night of the town. <laughs> it's just go to like a hookah bar and shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're drunk and passed out. And she's just like, um. <laughs> <laughs> She's just standing around watching as you're getting totally fucking blitzed. <laughs> Pearl, hold my hair while I puke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why is that woman bullying Mystic Maya? Whoa, she's even hotter head on. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's like, Phoenix? <laughs> this picture of this woman! Uh huh. <laughs> he might have become a good guy. Eventually. I miss him. He? Who are you talking about? Mr. Nick? Oh, Why are your cheeks flushed? <laughs> no one. <laughs> Is that person Mystic Maya was talking about? Mr. Edgy Word? Shh! Fuck. Don't speak his name. He's not around anymore. He took that big dick of his and <laughs> skipped town. <laughs> huh? <laughs> he clutched onto his foolish pride too fiercely and died for it. Wait, he died? Yeah. Did he die? I care. He died? Uh, um, you wouldn't happen to know anything about who the murderer is, would you? What? What a weird thing to talk to about it, like a kid about. Like, <laughs> grab her by the shoulders and shake her. Why'd you kill him? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Huh? You mean, tell Morgan what you did? Yes, if she finds out that I was playing in the leftover trash, I'll get a spanking. Jesus, okay. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I guess I'll tell her I was playing this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take this bullet for you, Pearl. <laughs> what is she doing? It looks like she's talking to a picture. Wow. <laughs> Never has anyone looked more innocent. <laughs> I know. Pearl, you broke the sacred urn, didn't you? And if Morgan found it, she'd get really mad, huh? She'd get really super And if you mad. don't want me to tell Morgan, you're going to have to give me $20. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> she pulls out like a giant adult-sized wallet. <laughs> I'm a fucking genius. She's sad. Thumbs up. <laughs> Successful. S sparkles and hearts and shit. <laughs> yeah! S ranks. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get banished, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Don't do the crime if you can't do the time, am I right? <laughs> Looks like you fucked up. Case closed. <laughs> Objection! No harm done and a happy resolution. Phew! <laughs> Looks like I could go home and rest easy. <laughs> like, falls asleep and like wakes up at 3 a.m. like, ah! <laughs> I missed like three court dates! <laughs> Better go check out this hottie clinic. Oh. <laughs> Alright. It's called Hottie Clinic? That's where I work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can come visit me at the Hottie Clinic. <laughs> I'm always suffering from hottie disease. Yeah. They just can't seem to find a cure. <laughs> <laughs> So this is where Edie was hospitalized. Oh, oh my god! Mrs. Mano? Mrs. Uni Mano? Oh, let's... Oh, her! Well, you know, I think I can let you in on a little secret. What's that? Oh, yes. Actually, I'm not the real director. You're kidding. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just, like, break down crying. You're not... <laughs> This is a betrayal on a level that I cannot fathom. I'll go another for you. The article I'm in. Huh? You have it? Well, well, well. Don't get me wrong. I thought something like this must come up, so... Obsessive to the max. But I bet I could learn about how to stay on a lead from this guy. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. Hell no. Here we go. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Just comes back with like a pile of shit. Here we go. The article. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like, I was in an accident, sure. But that's like totally not related to this murder. Actually, it like really is. It definitely <laughs> is. Do you suppose the woman who died in an accident could be? Uh, a little, little someone called a Mimi. Nancy Reagan? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, what? Uh, I believe it was your sister, Mimi, mind you. Mimi! <laughs> you were riding in your sister's car while she drove. The two of you were together when your accident occurred, making a one in the same. Yay! Oh no, you've unlocked my spirit locks or whatever. <laughs> Successfully unlocked traumatic memory. <laughs> I was riding in a passenger seat when I fell asleep. Ooh. My cowlick was safe, but my sister was dead. <laughs> this does give Eni a good reason to want to murder Dr. Gray. <laughs> it seems simple, doesn't it? What do you mean? It's like the most convoluted shit. Yeah. But I would be, but it would be very hard to catch me. Actually, I'd say impossible. What? I think you get the picture. I'm gonna serve you a slice of humble pie. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Leave my mother alone. Pearl, hey, hold on, okay, pal? <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt. Pearl, dear, it is perfectly all right. Oh, don't make that face. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll show you something cool. Here, look, it's a real pistol. Detective, do not upset me further. Okay. Eh, uh, sorry. I only left one bullet in the chamber. <laughs> Muddy. <laughs> Muddy. Muddy. Bring my non-celebratory dirty diaper. <laughs> 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 what about Mystic Maya? She'll be alright. Jesus Christ, calm the fuck down. <laughs> Everyone's being so hysterical. <laughs> Her stare is really piercing. Shiver. <laughs> Shiver. Just like that. Uh, what's his face? G Gun Gundam. What's his name? Fucking Stephen Gundam. Ed Ed Sheeran. Wow, Aaron. <laughs> Holy shit. It was amazing to watch you go through that. <laughs> what did I call him? Stephen Gundam? <laughs> Stephen Gundam. That's him. <laughs> Worldwide blockbuster recording artist, Stephen Gundam. Me, yeah, I want to help Maya any way I can. And to do that, I need to know who the real murderer is. No, but now show me your ability as a lawyer. Oh, show me. <laughs> <laughs> show me your ability as a lawyer, JY. <laughs> Spirit channeling <laughs> lawyer, <laughs> dead mentor, reincarnated JY. <laughs> you have no proof that this piece of cloth is actually from Maya's costume. But this blood. And do you know whose blood that is at this point in time? You don't, do you? <laughs> oh my god, I'm about to come! <laughs> that, 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 that head tilt. 
someone changed her into a different set of clothes and then burned the costume she was wearing in the incinerator and then made me look like an idiot. There was only one person who could have done that. The one person who was taking care of Maya. My aunt. You did very well, Phoenix. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah. And you're such a good boy, too. Uh, <laughs> one more lock. <laughs> <laughs> My aunt and Amy, we're in cahoots. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, we're in cahoots. Why would my aunt do something like this? Why would she do it in such an underhanded fashion? Um, for the, the cahoots lulls? we're calling. <laughs> she was possessed by the cahoots. <laughs> for the Reddit gold? <laughs> <laughs> um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel me it today, too? Huh? I was sort of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. <laughs> Watching it fucking reamed. <laughs> Please, it's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough without her help. I require her bodon honkaroos <laughs> to guide me along the path of righteousness. Every time I'm feeling lost, I find myself in those honka bonka donkaroos. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. Not for yours. Fuck you. <laughs> See you later then. <laughs> I'll leave you to your own time. <laughs> Fucking leaves the room. Yeah. <laughs> she like runs through the door, leaving a human shaped hole. <laughs> this way, Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. What do you mean? What's going on? <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> You're going away for a long time. I took a plea deal. <laughs> I'm surprised that you, who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. Oh, and don't think that your boat on Hunkeros <laughs> have any power here. Oh, oh that's nice, Miss Von Karma. Hmm. Glad to see you in such good spirits today, Miss Faye. Oh, spirits because she's dead. That's it's, effed up. It's fucked up, dude. It's true what they say. Really, re women really are scary when they fight gold. That's why I prefer the refreshing warmth of a cock. Now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. Is the comfort of a cock warming? <laughs> My name is Morgan Fay, Realtor. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone in the court starts talking. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you were Morgan Fay. I know, but I'll like, I won't be able to do all these voices at the same time. Oh, okay. Um... My name is Morgan Fay. <laughs> And I am a spirit man. medium. After the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. Aaron, put your pussy into it. <laughs> <laughs> a pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand, and she was in a daze. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. <laughs> With great strength, she hit the base of my neck and fainted for a short while. <laughs> what? <laughs> my aunt is a very smart and sly person. It's gonna be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. But not in her butt. <laughs> <laughs> it just turns back into Pearl. <laughs> what the fuck happened? That's the renegade mystic Maya had done something very unexpected. Something unexpected? What, pray tell, did sh- Murder! Oog. This witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there is always later. Yes, very well. I don't run this courtroom. <laughs> you run this courtroom. I am your old bald bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> Where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Be quiet, you. <laughs> Someone came into the room, like, really suddenly. Oh! <laughs> I was like, oh my god, totally my sister. I can't believe that a spirit would go so far as to use a medium to get revenge. It is a bit hard to swallow. Just like my cum? <laughs> <laughs> Oops! <laughs> this testimony just now, was it all made up? Was it just one huge lie? Of course it was, Phoenix. Well, it's well constructed, but that's all it is. Find that one loose thread and unwind this tapestry of lies. Your Honor, there's a tapestry of lies that need to be unwound. I'll allow it. <laughs>
<laughs> I, I run a fucking kangaroo court anyway. <laughs> so there's nothing odd at all about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah, nothing was, like, weird. Why? <clears throat> what about this robe covered in Taco Bell's mild to spicy sauce? Not quite sure. Let me taste. It's mm. blood. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very well spun lie, Miss Eeny. It's well constructed, but that's all it is. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> I thought of that myself. <laughs> that you you? A ghost definitely didn't tell me. <laughs> Stealing my lines now, are we, Phoenix? Yeah. <laughs> Do something about it. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dead idiot. <laughs> Miss Meanie. <laughs> I would think that even you would be surprised if someone appeared before you like this. Full titty and all. <laughs> it's a blood spray. The boob, the blood spray. Yes, exactly. What? <laughs> blood spray. <laughs> <laughs> I finally found the fault, or I guess in your case, the crack in your perfect lie. <laughs> oh, God, stop farting. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like a victory fart, so I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> Take a look at this urn. Like urn? There are cracks, did you see them? <laughs> <laughs> Sir. I'd like to introduce someone to you. She's, uh... Your daughter! <gasps> <laughs> she's here, but she's another person right now, so but it, she, it's important. And she just happened to and? break this urn. Oh. Oh. Pearl was the one who put it back together. Not very well, but while sitting right in the middle of the winding way. Oh, yeah. Why? I think I have sufficiently proven one thing, Miss Miney. I am a terrible lawyer. <laughs> that I've broken every capillary in my hand <laughs> from hitting the table. You are a masterful liar. No, I'm a ghost! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, you need to watch what you say. Just the because you've repeatedly caught someone in a lie, lying constantly, <laughs> since you met them until right now, does not make them a liar. <laughs> the cute girl who keeps whipping me told me so. <laughs> I was like sleeping on the side room. Can I really believe her? Was she really sleeping in the side room? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Fucking murdering! Now's your chance, Phoenix. Kill her. <laughs> yeah, it just grabs one of her tits. No! <laughs> Jesus Christ, Phoenix! <laughs> it's ridiculous. Miss Miney, how were you able to hide yourself at the scene of the crime? It's very simple. You were hiding inside this box. There's a hole. In the bucket! <laughs> Dear Eliza, about eight inches off the ground. Maybe if I'm crouching, it'll work. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying that the person in this photo is Miss Eeny Miney? That is exactly what I am saying! This is Miss Eeny Miney! You were hiding inside this clothing box all along, and you wore a medium's costume to masquerade as my affair. Perf, perf, <laughs> perf, perf, perf. Perfidy, perf, perf, perf. You had an accomplice. If it wasn't someone from Kurain Village, you couldn't have gotten the costume. And if it wasn't something, someone from the Maya Fay household. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna say something very cool and smart, so you better open your ears and take the biscuits around out of your ears. <laughs> very articulate. You shot Dr. Gray with your own two hands, or maybe one hand. Or maybe a gun. The revenge plan is overly complicated, and she has no motive in the first place. Furthermore, there is no reason for Miss Morgan Fay to cooperate with this plan. Listen, Phoenix. Stare into my bosom of the future. <laughs> <laughs> and all will be revealed. Everything happens for a reason. There is a reason for why she had to kill Dr. Gray. And it is also the reason she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. Believe in the cleavage of truth and the areolas of justice. <laughs> Time is up, Mr. Wright. Oh, but I'm looking at the areolas of justice. <laughs> Miss Mining. <laughs> You're fucked. The two of them were riding in a British car. Like like a horse? In that case, the pet. No. Like a like a medieval horse? Is that what they drive in Britain? Judge. Shut up. You said that you had escaped using the right side door of the car, but if you were sitting there, 
then that means you were in the driver's seat! Oh, shit. And the fact that you responded like that makes me think that that has something to do with the case. You sure do scream into your hat a lot for an innocent person. This witness's real name is... Chuck Connor. <laughs> X-Con. Amy Miney. That is your real name. This witness had severe facial burns when she was admitted into the hospital. So for the purpose of facial reconstruction, the surgeons used a picture. This is the picture she gave her doctors at the time. That's right! It's a picture of her younger sister! The one who actually died. Yup. Dr. Gray wanted to call back the spirit of a dead person. Specifically, the spirit of the nurse that died in the crash, Mimi Miney. However, that would not have been possible, because Mimi Miney was still, in fact, alive! And in the room. Oh, sweet irony. Looks like I've been unmasked. <laughs> Witness? <sighs> Dang. I admit it. My real name is Mimi Miney Miney. <laughs> that quack doctor, he got what he deserved in the end. Fourteen patients dying in that incident and her own sister's life extinguished. It was all too much to bear. That makes fifteen! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I found a way for myself to escape it all. The only way. She lost everything in the flames of that accident. Her sister... Let me, allow me to speak for you. Uh, and even her, her own face. <laughs> this was her last chance. Her chance to throw away her past and start a new life as her sister. That's pretty- that's more fucked up than I thought. The next day she woke up and had steak and eggs, and it- well, I, I didn't actually- And then she went to the Starbucks to get a coffee. I, I go to coffee and tea. Unbelievable. Steak and eggs. This- This is preposterous. I- I'm perfect! Me, Francisca Von Karma. I'm gonna enjoy the news tonight, Miss Von Karma. How about you? It's gonna be broadcast all over the world, right? Your defeat, that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, jeez! <laughs> oh Holy my god, shit. he's dead! Oh my god! Now that we've all been sufficiently, <laughs> sufficiently beaten into submission, <laughs> it looks like it will be some time before Mr. Wright regains consciousness. So I will go ahead and pronounce the verdict. Boom. Not Boom. guilty. Except for Mimi, she's guilty. Congratulations, Maya. Success! I love your titties! <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> can you just fold over the robe if your sister's gonna be hugging you? I really don't want something like this to happen ever again. I hated shooting that guy. Yeah. Well, I don't think you have to worry. I think it's safe to say that the Faye family has some pretty good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Maya, it's over. Why don't we just let it be? Why don't you just forget about why your aunt is a murderer? <laughs> yeah. Everything was done for her sake. Her sake. She loves that drink. <laughs> it was all so that Pearls would become the next master. You know her name is Pearl, right? There's only one. Everybody's happy in the end. Wow. My dearest Pearl, a trans representative, your time will come. I mean, aren't you going to prison? Yeah, I wish I saw her in like the fucking you're orange a, jumpsuit. You know? Yeah, you're an accomplice to murder, man. But we did it! We were about to start a new case, right? Or mm -hmm. did we start it? Yes, this is one of the most hated cases in Phoenix Wright history. Hated why? Um, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, prepare to witness a man who has mastered the wonder of flight. <laughs> the world's greatest magician. The one, the only. Pink guy! I am a mind freak! Mind freak! <laughs> when he throws the tree. There's no reality! <laughs> Hello, this is the right and cut. <laughs> oh, Maya, perfect timing! <laughs> <laughs> I was just hoping for something terrible. <laughs> They're saying there was a murder. Yeah, they arrested him too! Uh, arrested who? Oh, thank God he's alive. Welcome to the visitor's room <laughs> of jail. I'm your biggest fan! <laughs> fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Thank you so much. If you're my biggest fan, then blow me! I just thought of that one. <laughs> It's pretty good, right? I just wanted there to be like 30 seconds of uncomfortable <laughs> silence with this music playing in the background. You've been arrested for murder! Oh, don't be ignorant. They wouldn't arrest someone like me. 
Why is that? They merely skimped out on my hotel for this evening. <laughs> Quit choking around. You've got to be pulling my magic wand. <laughs> I would do no such thing, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. Please, help me. I didn't kill nobody. <laughs> didn't kill nobody? I may be more spoiled than a hog in a hamburger mud pit. <laughs> oh my god. I just wanted to pay off my daddy's debt. He's back on the farm. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The galactic farm. <laughs> this is really all perform, isn't it? No. Grr. Graw. Oh, fuck! He he's coming this way. Graw. I'll voice the tiger. Yeah. <laughs> Tiger, run! <laughs> Nick, Nick, are you okay? Nick, 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 <laughs> Nick, Nickelodeon. Nick is Ha <laughs> ha, scared you, didn't I? Oh! I've chosen the wrong voice. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he wasn't anywhere close to getting her, let alone dying. She did it. This little- <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> I'm Regina Berry, the renowned animal tamer of the Big Berry Bird Circus Bird. I'm Taylor Swift. Uh, what do you know about what happened last night? Oh, you mean the murder? Boy, she's in a great mood. Yeah, of your dad? Yeah. Uh-huh. My dad was murdered! Sparkle, sparkle! <laughs> Shimmer! <laughs> <laughs> Ever since Leon died, Regent has been my best friend. Leon was my other dad. Leon the Lion. Regent and Regina. Interesting name choices. Yes, Leon the Lion, my dad's dad. <laughs> <laughs> Leon, he died? He died like my dad. Yeah, just like my dad. Mm -hmm. Yes, actually he was killed. My dad killed him. Oh, Boy, so relaxing to have this accordion player inside my ear canal. <laughs> what was this one thing that didn't quite fit? The thing you mentioned earlier. Footprints, pal. Footprints. It's you know, the kind that have been obfuscated by your big clumsy ass feet. Fuck. Look at this picture of a man fucking his briefcase. <laughs> Look at this picture of a Mickey Mouse cosplayer <laughs> fucking his briefcase. The killer's footprints aren't there! Where did the killer come from? And where did the killer run off to? Where did the killer come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Obviously, there's no way the killer committed this crime while flying. A flying culprit? I mean, Max can fly. You don't really see too many streamers nowadays, do you? Oh, those were the days. <laughs> You're not on Twitch very much! <laughs> yeah. You're right, I haven't seen one in ages. I bet they stopped using the dude a little kids climbing up to the top. You don't know how accurate that is, Maya. But <laughs> <laughs> she just seems to be quite the hit with the men in the circus. She must have some sort of strange power over them. Maybe it's the fucking sparkles. <laughs> Even I want to profess my love for her. Me too, she's so cute. Everyone can, like, you keep it together, please? Jesus like, Christ. It's Try a murder scene. Solve a murder. Uh, wow, what a hottie with a body. <laughs> like, guys, <laughs> his daughter's so cute. I agree. Me too. What did we tell you? Oh yeah, how her dad's skull fragments are <laughs> scattered around the fucking circus at the moment. Oh, that must be so tough for her. <laughs> she's so cute. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's someone over there. Excuse me! Oh my god. <laughs> Guilty. I'm <laughs> Benjamin Woodman. Your last name is Woodman? Fucking nice! <laughs> Kablamo! Oh. God. <laughs> Congratulations! You're the big wiener! <laughs> the one millionth visit of the room of Mr. Mo! Curls! AKA me! Oh, Mo Curls. Yeah. I get it. Ha <laughs> ha Uh, Maya? <laughs> you know, I could excuse a bad joke or two, but this stooge keeps laughing at his own jokes. That's what I object to! Hold it! I can't believe we're gonna have to fucking examine a clown's testimony in the courtroom. <laughs> Maybe I can tell you a few details. But only if you can get old Stiff Lips here to make Whiskey on Funny! Stiff Lips? I'll have you know these DSLs are soft as pillows! Wait, do you mean me? Wait, really? <laughs> Nick, you could do it! <laughs> yeah. Pillows, you say? <laughs> do you know why I, Phoenix Wright, am a great lawyer? Because I'm right all the time. Oh. I'm sorry he's incapable of being funny, Mo. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like hand on shoulder. I hate all the characters in this yeah. episode. <laughs> Max, you aren't very popular with the other performers, are you? I rule. Yes, yes, yes. Sweetie, that's what they call jealousy. 
Spelled out jealousy. <laughs> so Regina understands him, huh? I plan on getting married to her. That's not good. He's- she's truly my sweetie pie princess. B ben You nailed him over the head with this bottle, didn't you? Why didn't you fight with him? Ben seems like such a quiet man. Such not a- Not when he's talking through that asshole puppet. <laughs> We fought about my sweetie pie. All I can say is that he made me mad and I had to tap him on his head hard, hard head, hard head. <laughs> That's when the ringmaster called me and I realized it was my chance to kill the ringmaster. The ventriloquist's puppet. His real name is Triloquist. <laughs> ben Triloquist. <laughs> Aaron! Aaron has his head in his hands. Oh, there's something shoved under the bookshelf. This... This is... A book! <laughs> That's Trello! That's Ben's puppet! It's alive! Kill it! <laughs> I Burn know. it! It's very nightmarish looking. I think you're right. We'll give it back to him later. What do you mean it's nightmarish? No, you won't! It's really like, cute. <laughs> it starts speaking. I gotta admit, I'm kinda interested in this place as well. Mo is so funny, and Max is amazing. My, and... you're not selling it to me. <laughs> Regina, I'm... Um, I... Don't really like her t too much. Are you sure about that? Max said something about a confession of love. Yeah, it's Trillo that loves her. Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> ben, this is yours, isn't it? Yes, that's mine. Here you go. Well, we're not gonna fucking ask him about it or anything. We're not gonna have him talk through the puppet. <laughs> so, Nick. Where are we going next? Show me on the puppet where you're an idiot. <laughs> uh, hey, where? Who said that? What are you looking at? I'm right here, you blind wench. Oh, I knew it. Look at me when I'm talking to you, you 8-bit excuse for an attorney. Trillo, we talked about insulting people. You promised. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, what just happened? Uh, that just happened. Hey, who do you think you are calling me a puppet? Oh, God. Okay. This is my least favorite case. <laughs> no need to make such a fuss about things. The old mutt paid us all peanuts. Trill, you can't say things like that. I didn't raise you to be that kind of puppet. <laughs> Don't you have the nerve pills or something to take right now? <laughs> These two are really an odd couple, aren't they, Nick? No. Uh, if by odd couple you mean a mentally unwell man and a piece of wood. <laughs> <laughs> Regina, my lovely Regina. She's stunning. Right, Ben? Well, I'm not sure if I would go that far. <laughs> You'll have to excuse him. He does not understand of what he speaks. I, on the other hand, am, am an appreciator of true beauty, hence why I shall marry her. You're a puppet! <sighs> <laughs> Let's go to the big top. All right, sounds good. <laughs> That's what I like on my ladies. <sighs> <laughs> wow, all right. <laughs> Tough room. Ten years in, and uh, <laughs> this is what we got. <laughs> Welcome back to Game Grubs, where we're doing our best. <laughs> I swear. It's a monkey. Please, God, I just, I just don't have this in me. Ah, uh, yow, yow. Ah. Uh. My- my badge? Who do you think I should go for? Max or Trillo? The highly successful magician? Or a puppet? Yeah. Well, or you could describe him as the murder suspect. <laughs> currently in jail. December 20th. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually like being strangled. <laughs> Regina is such a pure, innocent child. Are you in love with her too? She was born and raised in the circus, you know. But that means she doesn't really know much about the world outside the big top. Unlike me, I was born in Detroit! Okay. Insane clown posse forever! <laughs> oh, is this the monkey's room? <laughs> Does he have a monkey calendar and a tuba? Huff, huff. It's an orangutan. This is it! What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Uh, is that like a bikini? <laughs> is that like a centerfold poster for a monkey? <laughs> yeah, like, oh, oh hell yeah. Fuck, look at the tits on that orangutan. <laughs> anyway, this is the place! Acro's room. Who the fuck is Acro? Are there enough characters yet? He's an acrobat. It seems like he's not around today. Nick, I found it. Your badge, it's right here. It's covered in monkey shit. <laughs> so it's probably yours. Check this out. It's a ring. Yep. All right, let's leave. <laughs> There's something 
from engraved from T to R, from Trillo to Regina. Oh, that's the engagement <laughs> ring. Do you think we'll win in court tomorrow? No. December 29th. Two sleeps till Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Max. Max, what's wrong? <laughs> you seem troubled for some reason. Milk. <laughs> M milk. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, my sweeties. What? You don't think I should fly, do you? What the fuck are you talking <laughs> about? Are you okay? <laughs> I hope you didn't bother to. Oh, <laughs> I hope you didn't bother thinking you'd win this one, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I never lose, except for the last case. I'll show you the textbook's procedure for proving how absolutely guilty you are. Wait, me? I'm not guilty. Yeah, I didn't do anything. Not on trial. Guilty of being handsome. Ah! Guilty what are you of getting hit in the face with a whip. <laughs> it will be my ultimate revenge. But it's not like it'll bring your dad back. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, there it is. Real nice, Maya. <laughs> it just starts crying and leaves. Dr. Eggman deflated around the suitcase at 10.30. <laughs> the victim was found bent over a wooden box, dead as a doornail. <laughs> that... Damn hedgehog! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gumshoe, what were the members of the circus doing on the night of the crime? Sucking each other off! I have what you might call a micro penis. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to the story, Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe, that's really neither here nor there. And you haven't found this murder weapon, have you? The police are searching for it as we speak. The police is right here. <laughs> I use the police. <laughs> My theory is that it's something the perpetrator ran off with. You would think so, especially since you didn't find it on the scene. And murderers often like to take their weapons with them. No, no, no. I bet he made it disappear with magic. <laughs> Everybody's just like staring at him. It gets real quiet. Like an all whites in their eyes. Just like, <laughs> what is that, detective? It's a bottle. A bottle, you say? <laughs> exactly what it looks like, Your Honor. It's a condiment bottle. How is that going to prevent the birthing process? <laughs> no, not a condiment bottle. <laughs> What's inside the bottle? Come. <laughs> <laughs> it's filled with pepper. Pepper? Not come? <laughs> <laughs> Why in the world was it locked in that big box? Why in the world wouldn't it be filled with cum? <laughs> <laughs> there was only if one. If I'm going to die prone over a box, it damn well better be filled with cum. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's talking. <laughs> you mean all we're going to get out of him is that little bottle of pepper? Cum. It's not come. Thank you very much, Detective Gumshoe. You may step down. And leave the bottle with us. <laughs> <laughs> it's filled with pepper, you know. Not mm -hmm. for long. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Trillo will show up on the stand as well. We can only hope. <laughs> uh, uh, once practice, we're, uh, once we get, uh, uh, hold it. Me, me, me. <laughs> you saw Max and only Max, right, Trillo? The whole Max. That's right. And that makes him the killer. There was only one person headed that way that night. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm <laughs> hmm. I definitely didn't take a sip of water before that started. Yeah. I was so relieved to see the first word be hmm, and then so depressed to see all the other words show up. <laughs> the ringmaster and Max went together to the ringmaster's room. Isn't that according to defendant? A likely story. No, it's according to this bottle filled with cum! Oh, right. It's a cum bottle. <laughs> Practice ended at 10 p.m., so you hung around the lodging house the entire time? Yes, while I was unconscious. I guess that sounds about right. Well, then what the fuck? <laughs> 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 Who do you suppose the witness was waiting for out in the cold that night? Probably Regina, right? Wait, she's 16? I don't know. How old is Ben? Ben? Well, the puppet's probably like two. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Well, the puppet probably came from a tree that's like a thousand years <laughs> old, so. Dude, what the fuck is up with this case? I don't know, man. All right. I didn't fucking write this shit. I, neither did I. I'm not. I'm not accusing you of anything. Well, if he was waiting outside in the cold, it was for one person. The and monkey. One... <laughs> Woo! Ah! <laughs> Starts like throwing shit at everyone. Oh God! Is is that an objection? <laughs> he spent all that time waiting for Regina to arrive. Moreover, even if someone else would have walked right in front of him, I doubt he would have paid them a second thought. At what? <laughs> the puppets just <laughs> fly apart. All right, that's my favorite thing that's happened so far. <laughs> you were what? Waiting to propose? But you're a fucking puppet. Yes. What's the matter? You think that humans have a monopoly on marriage? Yes. Just because I'm a puppet doesn't mean I can't love. I guess you're right. It's not right. Just because I'm old doesn't mean I couldn't propose to her too. What? What the fuck is happening? What, <laughs> what does one have to do with the other? Exactly. It, you're not I'm alive. <laughs> His honor is looking a little less than honorable right now. What? Trillo, do you mind if I show you something? What is it? What are you talking about? Uh, looks like they're going to double team me now. Um. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you recognize this ring? That's, that's, that's mine! Give it back! Thief! Thief! Oh, are you mad? I sure hope you don't double team me. <laughs> Slowly turns around. <laughs> <laughs> I found this in Money's room. M Money's room? You mean a room they put money like a bank vault? <laughs> Funny stuff, Judge, but no, it's a monkey. Ha, that filthy monkey is gonna get what's coming for him. I prefer if you would avoided slandering my innocent fiats in my court. What is a fiat? Like a currency. He's talking about money. Oh. Please don't insult the money that was stolen <laughs> by the monkey from the ventriloquist dummy being powered by the uh, man who wants to marry an underage girl. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this court really fucking cool. <laughs> God, I mean, look at Ben. What a cuck. <laughs> I guess you can fuck my wife. <laughs> the witness just stated that he chased after Money the monkey. When the witness was off chasing oh, Money- Oh, I'm flying! <laughs> <laughs> We're going into mock speeds! <laughs> there was no one watching the plaza! Oh, it's cold. Oh yeah. my god. Do you have any proof that something slipped past this brilliant mind? <laughs> Vil vigilant ventriloquist? Yeah. No! Well, he obviously didn't see the victim, the ringmaster, arrive on the scene, you fucking idiot dope. However, that doesn't change the fact that he saw the defendant alive. The witness is lying! He is blinded by his rivalry with Max! Oh my god, they're gonna co collide at these speeds! <laughs> yeah, they just like, <laughs> they just slowly merge into each other and just kiss. <laughs> I'll give it a good evening to him. Whoa, Objection. did you really? <laughs> Hold it! This was the night that, that he fucking beat him over the head with a fucking bottle. So why would he say good evening to him? Oh. No, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> You're such an impatient button press. God damn it! The person the witness saw that night was not Maximilian Galactica. But the clown or monkey. Considering the ill temper of this witness, there is only one person he would greet. It must be Regina. It's Regina, right? She's so cute. Judge, fucking pull it together. <laughs> no, your honor, it is not Regina. It was Russell Berry, the victim himself, was it not? If that's the case, then it is impossible for me to make a judgment at this point. Yes! I think I finally wanted the point of this one! Fuck! That is very unfortunate. Oh, no. <laughs> man. That's her, I'm about to kick you in the nuts stance. Yeah. You established that this witness saw one person in the plaza that night. I applaud you on your effort, but... But? Who that person was can only be answered by the next witness. The monkey! Oh. I request the prosecution prepare their next witness. Like if they're a monkey, shave them. <laughs> Court is now in recess. Make sure their bowels are clean, so that there's no shit for them to throw. If it's a clown, you know... Make, make sure their bowels are clean. <laughs> <laughs> I went straight to the ringmaster's room, still dressed in my stage clothes. But when I got there, I went ahead and took the costume off. Which means? It means that the ringmaster could have taken his costume and went out looking like Max. Yeah. However, sweetie, 
Why would the ringmaster want to dress up like me? Isn't that a bit strange? Hmm, you do smell. If you think about it, all they found at the crime scene was my silk hat. Well, Max, I never thought of that. You should be a detective or something. Well, I was never quite sure what to be when I grew up. Magician or president. But I decided on murderer. <laughs> <laughs> the witness will state his name and occupation for the court record. Okay, everybody. Uh, oh! It, wait, what? In West Clownadelphia, he was born and raised. Did he say that shit? Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> I have to read this. <laughs> Maybe this joke is okay. Mom, do I have to wear pants? The sign only says no shirt, no shoes, no service. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, how about this? Have you met my proctologist? Dr. Seymour Butts? How was that one? Uh -huh. Times ten. <laughs> but a couple of clowns who were up to no good. Your name. Oh, poor Mo can't be his normal stoogy self in court. Maya, stop- What a bummer! <laughs> stop standing up for these lunatics. Uh, okay. Okay. I know, I know. I'm not the greatest comedian in the world. I haven't been able to make people laugh for 10 years. Oh, wow. No matter what I say, all I get in return is a vacant stare and polite applause. Since no one ever laughs at my jokes, I've taken to laughing at them myself. It's a bad habit, but hey, at least I'm trying. Imagine my predicament. I'm a clown who can't make people laugh. I'm almost useless. Seriously, everyone, what do you think of me? How am I doing? Dude, he has become the jonkler. Oh my god, that's right. He puts French- he dips his french fries in iced creme. <laughs> <laughs> he is guilty of murder. <laughs> <laughs> Clowns don't need a reason to look out their windows, do they? I can't yes. <laughs> say that they do. When we spoke yesterday, you were like, I saw somebody that was a max. Once I had tucked myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise. It was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant thump. Oh yeah! I forgot about that! You forgot? Looks like this motherfucker forgot. <laughs> Your Honor, the witness looked out of his window. Your Honor, I'm going to put this finger into the clown. <laughs> <laughs> Just see where the night takes us <laughs> after that. <laughs> Starts moving towards him. <laughs> He's like, oh, Mo. Fucking Mo. Did you or did you not see the crime of murder committed that night? Remember where this finger's going. <laughs> I will not permit you to harass or enter my witness in this manner. <laughs> if Mo is to be believed when he says he looked out the window upon hearing a sound. Then what the fuck, man? <laughs> There's no way that he could have seen Max clonk anyone. Yeah, you're a fucking lion-ass clown. Piece of shit. Mo, you didn't see the roses, did you? To be honest, there weren't any roses on the person I saw. Since the roses must have fallen off when the defendant assaulted the victim. If that was the case, then the police would have found them near the crime scene. <laughs> <laughs> Trillo saw them all! Trillo saw all three of Max's symbols. Say it one more time and I'll pronounce it differently again. <laughs> However, this witness claims that there were no white roses on the person he saw. There is absolutely no doubt that this is a contradiction! The silk hat fell off at the crime scene. However, the witness clearly testified to the contrary. The witness stated that he was wearing it the entire time he was on the scene. No! That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. What is the meaning of all this? You are old enough to know better than to behave like this in court. Why are you being so mean to me? What did I do? Seriously, why? Just because, okay, and no matter how old I am, I'll, I'll, I'll always be way younger than you. What's up? Enough of these childish outbursts, Mr. Curls. Who do you think you are? I am the clown of your dreams. <laughs> I saw him. I swear I saw him. It was Max. Now come over here and kiss me and my hat and all of the other ones on my shirt. He left the scene wearing that dumb silk hat. He was there. He left the scene? Exactly how did the murderer leave the scene of the crime, you- He swung away on vines while <laughs> eating a banana. What do you mean, how did he leave the scene? 
You can't ask me that. Objection! You can't ask him that! <laughs> you guys can't just ignore everything I said. Fine, fine. I'll tell you the truth this time. Oh, will oh, you? Oh, cool. Just gonna re-swear on the Bible three times. <laughs> Fun comment who whip told me not to talk about what I really saw. Oh, buzzer, buzzer, shit. Buzzer, 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 buzzer. How many times do the witnesses have to say shit about Von Karma like this before they're like, maybe this chick isn't yeah. on the level. And she loses, like, her own, like, credibility of, like, yes, I'm number one all the time. Mm -hmm. I've never lost a case, except for the one I just lost and this one which I will lose. Mm -hmm. When I looked out the window, the ringmaster was down and Max was standing above him. He wasn't wearing his white roses, but he was wearing the silk hat. That's when I saw he... Oh, flew away like a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's why there were no footprints. Flying people don't leave footprints. No, they don't. They leave sky prints. Yeah. You're welcome for this amazing, impossible clown testimony. I've got the feeling that this case is in dire need of more investigation. Thus, I will conclude today's proceedings at this point. I'm actually not flying on stage. I use invisible wires and have them hoist me through the air. Wow, you just told me the secret to your magic. No, I broke the first rule, the cardinal rule, the only rule. I'm sorry, Max. I'm sorry, Max. We made we you break a magician's creed to never reveal the secret to their tricks. I'm sorry, Aaron. I read your line. It's okay. I don't even care. <laughs> I don't even fucking care. <laughs> when your body aches for your partner's love, that's one of the best parts. When you have a hand up you, <laughs> it's just that's it. <laughs> Let's go to the detention center and talk to fucking Max for a sec. Right. Oh, maximum security prison. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my sweeties. You mind hurrying up and getting me out of this place? We're doing our best, Max. Just hang in there. <laughs> I was about to. <laughs> All right. You know what time it is? Riddle time. Oh, fuck yes. Why does everyone cry when they eat Mexican pizza? Um, uh, I got it! Okay, what's your answer? And she just says some really fucking, like, racist shit. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're taking all their jobs! <laughs> what? No! <laughs> <laughs> because they're in the cafeteria! What? What? Aaron, please. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> it's an incredibly sad place. You that fucking cafe. got it! <laughs> <laughs> he showed me his bust, too. Let me tell you, that thing is enormous. What? It really looks kind of flat chested to me. Oh, the one. Oh, I yeah. see. He's got a big bust? I wouldn't mind hearing more about Max's bust. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. What the fuck? Who wrote this? Yeah, I know. It's, it's just, it's, ve it's like. It's got such a different, like, vibe to it than the other ones. Seriously. <laughs> Not that I'm gay or anything. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, hey, this thing is really cool! Oh, maybe that's the blunt instrument that bashed in the guy's head. All right, here's what happened. Okay. Monkey took the bust yep. because it's shiny. Yep. Took the outfit, beat the fucking guy with him because he's a monkey, yep. and jumped away. Yeah, and that's what made him look like floating. He, he was, like, hanging onto something because he's a big, silly monkey. Done. Solved. I, I I think so too, which is a shame because I really want many of these characters to go to jail. Yeah, that'd be great if they all did. This piece of paper was posted front and center. Oh, monkey steals bust. Post a piece of pa piece of bust of paper. It says to the murderer. Murderer. Someone was murdered. <laughs> yup, that's what it says. But the rest of it has been ripped off. Funny nobody found this up until this point. To the murderer, I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Meet me at 10 p.m. tonight at the Lodging House Plaza. To get murdered. Tonight at 10 p.m.? That's when the murder took place. No, that's that's when the practice concluded. Mm. Now I need to find out who called out the ringmaster. Now, when did I ever bring up my papa's name in this or any other conversation? Uh, then, then what's this revenge thing you're talking about? You wouldn't understand, Mr. Phoenix, right? I have to see him again one more time. <gasps> Edgeworth! <laughs> Him. I'm sure you know to whom I refer. Miles Edgeworth. He's mine, bitch! <laughs> right? <laughs> Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, get it together, dude. <laughs> Nick, stop gooning. <laughs> Edgeworth was never quite the same after that case. And then, with the case after that one, he 
decided never to kiss me again. I know, right? He never set foot in the court again. And then one day, he just vanished. My loins. He left me so many nudes. <laughs> All he left was a simple note at the prosecutor's office. It looked like balls. <laughs> it's just like a really blurry, gross, zoomed in picture of like sweaty balls. Prosecutor Miles Edgeverse chooses death. Miss Von Karma. What? I don't know if you're in God's gift to pro if you're God's gift to I don't know if you're good or not, but I've had about enough of you. Him too. This dog is all bark and no bite. He's already been defeated. Uh, you think I'm a dog? Awesome. <laughs> Just because I can't get it up ever? Ever? <laughs> <laughs> Did Edward tell you that? <laughs> Did he tell you that I can't get it up ever? <laughs> Acro's room. Oh. Whoa. Fuck is this guy? Pleased to meet you. I'm Ken Dingling. <laughs> is there a problem? When I was a kid, my parents failed miserably at business. Then one night, they decided to run away from it all. Without me. He has way too happy a face to be relating a sad tale. I know. The only person who was willing to take my parents' place was the ringmaster. So I killed him. The ringmaster took such incredible care of me. He was truly a lifesaver, except for his own life. Um, I'm sorry to ask, but why are you in a wheelchair? Because my legs don't work. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the nerves in my legs were badly damaged. Whoops, whoops. And you can't walk now? Very, very observant, detective. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even stand now. Uh, and since I live on the third floor, that's really unfortunate. <laughs> Reg Regina, have you ever seen this before? Uh, I know what this is. Really? Well, it was in my pocket for a while. You didn't put it in the bulletin board in the cafeteria, did you? I did. I stuck it up there. How'd you know? Huh, so it was Regina who put it up there. When did this happen? Um, the morning of the murder, I think? That explains a lot. That explains everything! That's a monkey! Fucking monkey! Nick, it's money! <laughs> Where? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just a fucking monkey. <laughs> that monkey's holding something! Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh? <laughs> Wah, ooh, ooh. Wah, ah, ah. Yikes! Wah! I swiped it while money was distracted. Wow, you're pretty in the bus, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see it! Let me see it! Huh? You can see it fine from where you are. Don't get fucking close to this vest, this <laughs> tiny vest, which I love so much. You know what I mean? I really want to try with you costume! Maybe then they'll take you in at the circus and I can get some peace and quiet. What? Huh. What's the matter now? You were thinking something really mean at me. <laughs> It doesn't fit me at all. Oh well, guess it's time for you to lay off the burgers. Jesus Christ! Wow. Fuck. <laughs> I can't fit into this. Yeah, this monkey vest. Gee, well maybe lose a couple pounds. <laughs> the fuck, Phoenix? Yeah, thank you. You really got it back from me. Don't mention it. I love you, Mister Attorney. Well, uh, okay, it's nothing. No wonder guys melt to mush in front of this girl. Dude, Japan. <laughs> Come on, guys. Leon, he was killed, wasn't he? That's right. My dad killed him. Oh, that's the murder. Sick. Leon did something really bad during practice. During practice? Leon was sitting down, and then he opened his mouth, you know? Gaw. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Maya, this isn't going to be a fun story. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Leon bit someone during that practice. R Regina, everything was all right, though, right? Nah, it wasn't all right. That was the problem. My dad was incredibly angry. The person who got bit was Acro's brother. Um, what? Sean Dingling. <laughs> but everyone always calls him bad. He fell in love with Regina. Trying to win her love was his downfall. My God. Fucking, can people just knock it off with that? Yeah. Everyone seems to fall in love with Regina. Oh boy. I'm just going to show it, huh? What's the problem? <laughs> I'll never forget that moment. God, it was funny. <laughs> it was so strange. Leon had the weirdest look on his face. Like, oh shit, I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> he was smiling. Hey, you mean Leon? Yes, Leon. When he bit down, he was smiling. 
if I can put my head inside of Leon's mouth like you do, you have to go to the movies with me on a date. Cool. Wait, his brother said that? To Regina. Because oh, he, was, he was in love with oh, Regina. Oh, gotcha. Sorry, I got confused. <laughs> you put your head in the lion's mouth all the time because you're epic like that. Why not just ask, ask her out? And that's when the accident happened, if you could even call it that at that point. And that's when the accident happened? Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is the scarf my brother was wearing when Leon attacked him. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Not interested, thanks. It's covered in blood. Yeah, that's from an unrelated incident, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it was a present from Regina to my brother on the day of the accident. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh. It was supposed to be lion proof when he did <laughs> I'll be taking that scarf if you don't mind, question mark. Oh, uh, Francisca. <laughs> um, hi, <laughs> what are you doing here? I oh. think I meant that scarf. <laughs> Regina! How fabulous, my sweetie pie, my sweetie pie princess. <laughs> you came to watch my performance today? My sweetie pie princess from Planet Cute. <laughs> my sweetie pie princess from Planet Cute who came here on a cute sweetie pie ship. <laughs> my sweetie pie princess from Planet... All right. Yes. Who pushed the adorableness <laughs> button and then traveled down the cuteness platform <laughs> from the cutie pie ship. My sweetie pie princess. <laughs> <laughs> the trial's starting. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> you want us to make sure Regina watches? Yes, that's why I brought her here to court today. What's that supposed to mean? She needs to know that when people die, they don't just become stars. Well... I don't know. It seems like she's getting through it because of that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. he's just like he takes her to the grave, like shoves her face. Look at it! Look at it! <laughs> so with the lights off, you were still able to clearly see a human fly by your window. That <laughs> sentence alone sounds crazy. The more I press him, the less results I seem to get. Maybe if I tickle his balls a little bit. There's a huge contradiction that the testimony that was just with the testimony that was just given. Do you have a problem with my client's balls? Yes, they're not in my mouth. <laughs> if there's a <laughs> hmm, she's right. Let's see some evidence. <laughs> That's the ringmaster's hat, right? Uh, 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 no. no. Afraid not. No matter how you look at it, this is Max's silk hat. Where are you going with this, Mr. Wright? I, for one, am completely lost. <laughs> are you saying that Max has two silk hats? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just slow turns to him. <laughs> <laughs> look at the look on his face. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. On this occasion, the defense accuses Zachro himself. On this occasion? Uh, accuses Acro? What in the world are you accusing him of? Uh, what the fuck else would I be accusing him of than what we're here for the trial of? Obviously, we accuse him of the murder of Mr. Russell Berry. Oh, well, case closed then. Trying to vow the cloud with smoke and mirrors is the oldest bluff in the book. Uh, really? Really? Oh, my I, bad. I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, whatever you say. If you don't believe me, just look at the witness. <laughs> <laughs> He's calm enough for it to almost be scary. Yeah, well, he thinks he got away with it. Huh. <laughs> the pumping bird. As he is in a wheelchair, there's no way he could go to the scene or be the killer. Hmm, you've got a point. Uh. Time to enlighten us as to how Mr. Dingling committed the crime, Mr. Wright. Uh. This batshit crazy theory of yours. The bust? It's quite a large bust. Thank you. Not yours. Hmm. And because it is life-sized, it is also very, very heavy. Heavy? With milk. Well, 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 Acro. You can- oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd watch what I say if I were you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. It was impossible for him to lift the bus and stick himself out far enough to look. Not to mention that he could not have known the location of the ringmaster's head. A single false step would have led to even more severe injuries. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Just, I totally, you can ask anyone. Objection! Here's a box. 
Acro, you didn't really need to lean out of the window, did you? The moment that the bust came falling down was exactly the same moment that the ringmaster lifted up this wooden box. Sick freestyling, Phoenix. <laughs> to lift up the box, you'd have to squat down. So, which means he got low, got low. <laughs> that no matter who you are, your head would be in approximately the same place. With like the action lines behind him. He lifted it with that platinum dumpy. <laughs> Fool. Ah. <laughs> I must admit, I'm shocked at your imaginative skills. Y you did you do it? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dog, did you actually kill him though? <laughs> <laughs> Overruled. I'll allow it. Witness, are you guilty? <laughs> no? Well, I guess we'll have to take his word for it. Yo, that's fucked up if you did it though. <laughs> <laughs> How did the witness get the bust from the cafeteria back to his room? Gotta stall, gotta stall. Oh my god, somebody put shit in my pants! <laughs> oh, the monkey helps Acro. That's my fit. Oh, Habitually gathers all sorts of shiny nice. objects. He stole our badge, remember? Yes, that's Fucking right. Fucking monkey. Answer this, and only this, Mr. Phoenix White. Who was the murderer the clown saw? The fucking bust, you morons! He saw Max's boo. <laughs> <laughs> I asked who was the other person Mo saw in the scene. That evidence has nothing to do with this question. Uh, yeah, it does. Au contraire, mon frere. Are you saying my German accent sounds French? How dare you? <laughs> the silhouette he saw was wearing a cloak. Objection! So they put a cloak on it. Whatever. Yeah. There's no reason why you couldn't attach a cloak to the bust. I mean, fuck. It'd be easy to hang one of those cards in the bust's hands. One of- One off, one the off of the cards. In yeah. The Idiot. Who in the right mind- This shot always cracks me up because it's such a like- She's so hot in it. <laughs> maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> yeah. Nick, do you really have a handle on all this? Oh, totally. I'm fine. Yeah, I know exactly what's going on. Yeah. I'm finally putting all the pieces together. There's really only one picture I could paint anyways. The monkey was working with the clown and then the <laughs> and the, the, the acrobat that does work with the legs dropped the statue and the statue <laughs> killed the man. Wow, good point. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> At the very instant that the bust hit the victim. Oh. Yes, it looks like that's exactly what they're saying. Oh my god. <laughs> that's so absurd. <laughs> that sucks. You wait just a second, Sam, Mr. Phoenix, right? <laughs> we are all very convinced here. <laughs> Nick, they say they want evidence. Shit. <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> He's just like, like flapping his arms around, running in circles. Oh, oh, fuck. oh, oh. oh. Do you ever shut up? No. Max's <laughs> silk hat was found at the scene of the crime. However, remember what Mo said yesterday? He testified that the criminal he saw fleeing the scene was wearing a silk hat. He said you saw. There's only one explanation for that. The silk hat that Mo saw was actually the bust. Oh, boy. Idiot. What do we do? There's no doubt in that Acro deeply respected the ringmaster. Calm the fuck down. Respected enough to kill? <laughs> Acro's motive. Hmm. He's like the predator, dude. Like he comes down and he only fights people that are like worthy of his fight. Yeah. That's why the ringmaster's skull and spine was removed. <laughs> uh, that did not happen. <laughs> no? <laughs> <laughs> That's why he made like a ringlet out of his skull. Uh oh. Uh. No? It looks like there's a large care package from the circus for the defendant. It's been honking this entire time. <laughs> what? For me? It's milk. <laughs> what in the fuck is happening? The reception area looks like some kind of dairy. So hurry up and drink it all before it spoils. Go on. <laughs> an entire dairy's work. Uh, an, enti an, an, an entire dairy. <laughs> <laughs> My brain is officially overloaded. <laughs> the reason the Acro killed the Ringmaster is something that can't be proven. What? <laughs> I made it up. Holy shit, really? <laughs> That's because Acro had no reason to kill the Ringmaster at all! That's a very, like, confident accusatory point for, like, <laughs> I don't know! <laughs>
the ringmaster wasn't your target that night. Oh, shit. What did you just say? I'm saying that the target of this witness murderer's plot was not the ringmaster. Because it was never his intention to kill Russell Berry to begin with! Was he trying to kill Max? I think he was trying to kill Regina. Whoa. What? I tried it for Simply put, Regina didn't think the note was meant for her, which is why the morning of the crime she placed it on the cafeteria bulletin board. The ringmaster ended up in the plaza instead of Regina. Gina. And he was killed because of that mistake. Instead of Regina! <laughs> that's, that's, that's incredible! No. So awesome! Acro had no idea who it was that arrived in the plaza because he couldn't look down out of his window to see who it actually was. I've got it! I've got it! Acro thought it was Regina down in the plaza. And that's when he let the bust fly. Very good, Judge. He let those titties out. Blah, 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 you know? Hey, Nick, were they like blow? <laughs> yeah, they were so blow. Hmm, so then what happened with Acro's brother? To Acro's brother. He's not the victim of an attempted murder, he's the victim of an accident. I see. Now what do we do? No one seems to be going along with your theory. We're fucked! Everything's fucked! Do you think what happened to Ben was next to an accident? <laughs> it's like there's a third option that just says we're fucked. Regina is responsible for making the lion bite Acro's brother bat- Acro- to bite Acro's brother bat. Boom. Acro's bat brother. Pepper covered scarf, dog. There is something more than the just the blood on this scarf, your honor. And what that might that be, other than a very gauche pattern? <laughs> Pepper. Pepper? Pepper. Pepper? Pepper. Regina gave <laughs> the scarf to Bat right before the accident. But Pepper, though? And, yes, Pepper. And she covered it with as much Pepper as she could. But why? Pepper. Um, excuse me, Mr. Wright. You've done a good job of fingering a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can... Somebody with this judge's expression, <laughs> somebody needs to take like a screenshot of this so I can make it my like Windows desktop background. Leon wasn't trying to bite bad at all. <laughs> In reality, all he actually did was sneeze. That's the sound of the lion sneezing. The pepper, the scarf, the lion. <laughs> The house, the room. I, d I see where you're going, but it's a bit hard to swallow. Not to mention the fact that there's an even bigger problem with your theory. What would that problem be? It's, it's it fucking sucks. insane. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, you've got to do something! I'm freaking out! <laughs> <laughs> Nick, I dropped mushrooms like three hours ago, and they're turning on me! <laughs> <laughs> the room starts, like, moving really fast. We already searched Acro's room yesterday. What did you find? A blood-covered bust. A bloody bust. <laughs> Just wait a second. Something's funny about all this. <laughs> Something is funny about all this. <laughs> the only evidence that is relevant here is that which pertains to the death of the ringmaster. You should know that by now. I love when Acro is about to get real, all the birds fly away. Yeah, like, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, shit's getting real. Fucking skin's getting hot. <laughs> Arg. Do something, Vic! <laughs> <laughs> She's like curled up I on the floor. I see demons! <laughs> <laughs> Your Phoenix right? You know where that bust is. I'm sure you do. It's not even a single clue. How am I supposed to know where the bust is? Where's the fucking bust? <laughs> <laughs> Hold it. Who? Where is Max's bust? The defense needs time to prepare to present its list! I mean, case. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous and I just bit my tongue. Huh? What? What? We need- Ah! Oh! <laughs> Do you really have a case to present, Mr. Wright? What? what you're asking me? The rest is up to you, Nick. Good luck! <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait. That's awesome. You can't be serious. Where is Max's bus now? Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, man. Hold on. Oh, God. Oh, man. It's obvious the bus is inside this very courtroom. It, it's obviously where? Allow me to pinpoint the location of the bus once and for all. The witness stand. No way. I'm sorry to ask this, but do you mind if I take the blanket off your wheelchair? Please do. Yes. <laughs> Why stop at the blanket? <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you weren't hiding anything under that blanket. Because it seems to me that it'd be really easy to say, hide a bust under there. Would you please remove the blanket from your lap? 
You sure do know how to finger a criminal, Mr. Wright. <laughs> well done, Mr. Wright. Masterfully played. One day, my brother sprinkled some pepper on Regina. She started sneezing so hard, you couldn't help yourself from laughing. That's why Regina thought it'd be funny to get him back in the same way. And that's why she covered the scarf oh, with pepper. Oh, okay, so she wasn't intentionally trying to kill him. Nah. What am I truly guilty of? Murder. I'm guilty of never. <laughs> but besides that, though, I'm nothing but a murderer. That's who I am. At first, I thought I'd kill myself. Then I pondered giving myself up. Then I thought, maybe I'd murder a girl. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a better option. <laughs> that, that seems cooler. Max, I'm so sorry. Fuck my, you, go to jail. <laughs> my, my B. This has been such a strange case. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's almost a reflection <laughs> of the circus itself. I'm going to let you go on probation. <laughs> Not guilty. Oh, Max isn't. Guilty. Except when it comes to Acro. Right. Yeah. Acro's like super guilty. Wow. She's been like this for a while now. Wow. It's all my fault. Acro said something right at the end. I tried to murder Regina. <laughs> what did he mean by that? <laughs> I just couldn't up and leave yet. Does that mean that Acro... Is he gonna try to get his revenge on me? Um... Of course he is. <laughs> <laughs> like the fucking conciliatory tone. Acro doesn't have any desire for revenge anymore. If that's true, then I want to see some evidence. Huh? I want to know you're not just making that stuff up about Acro not wanting revenge. Oh, man. Fucking... Fucking, I don't know, the monkey? <laughs> 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 Take that! <laughs> I'll stay next to Bat as long as it takes to put a pillow over his face <laughs> until he opens his eyes and then until he can meet Acro again. And then try that lion move again. Hey, Max. <laughs> what is it, Mo? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Max. What is it, Mo? We really put you through a lot, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> Let's work together and make our circus super fabulous. What do you say, big guy? I don't know what to say. All I can say is thank you. Nick! <laughs> what? <laughs> Please, just let me leave. <laughs> it seems like everything is gonna turn out all right here. Except that a man is dead. <laughs> yeah. And another one's going to jail. Yeah, and another's in a coma. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And everything turned out, and we're all, ha and every, in the end... Mo died shortly thereafter. <laughs> <laughs> it's all black and white and shit. <laughs> Mo, 1984 uh, to 1957. Oh shit. What's happening? Is she leaving the country? Of course. Well, detective, my plane is about to leave. As for Mr. Acro's case, you need not worry. I plan to personally stop by the chief prosecutor's office as soon as I get back. It's ah! Oh my god! Understood, sir. I'll be waiting for you, Mr. Edgeworth. Holy fuck. He tipped off Von Karma to go check out the thing which he knew would make him hide the bust under his chair. Wow, Edgeworth is good. <laughs> yeah, that's a Batman plan if I ever heard one. Jeez. All right. Damn, son. He's back, bro. Oh, I'm so happy. At last, we can get back to our gay shipping. 